Welcome, Princeton School District students. Are you excited about being here today? I hope you are because all of you have been deemed champions. Someone thought that you should be recognized today because you are a champion. So give yourselves a round of applause. I am Dr. Thomasina Jones, Superintendent of Bridgeton Public Schools, and it is my honor to recognize and celebrate Miss Christy Shoppy. She is a chairperson for Parade of Champions. Let's give her a thunderous applause. She is going to come at this time and give you a hearty welcome. Miss Shoppy. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Um, I would like to welcome our champions to the 2019-21st annual Parade of Champions. Give yourselves a round of applause. I would like to welcome, we have our superintendent, board members, our honoree, we have Teachers of the Year that will be introduced later, but we are here to celebrate your achievements academically and other for what you do and your hard work. So congratulations to all our students who are champions for Bridgeton Public Schools. Before we begin, I would like to send out two thank yous to the uh, Parade of Champions Committee. There is a whole committee that makes this happen. People from transportation to maintenance, uh, school representatives, everybody takes part in making this happen. So thank you to everybody who has helped today make this happen. I would also like to say a special thank you to Wendy's. Can you say cheer for Wendy? They were here because they care for our community. They have donated our bags that we're doing as prizes, and they were here to support for the lemonade. So thank you to Wendy's. At this time, I'm gonna turn it back over to our superintendent, Dr. Jones. Thank you, Ms. Shoppy. It is certainly an honor to be able to recognize all of you for your esteemed accomplishments. I want you to know that on behalf of the Bridgeton Board of Education, we certainly do in fact salute you. Ms. Todd, our Bridgeton Board of Education president, is going to give remarks after I introduce to you the Teachers of the Year and the Educational Services Professional Individuals. So as I call your name, please stand. But before I call your names, I want to make sure that all of our students are going to honor the Teachers of the Year from their schools. So Buck Shooting Road School, are you in the house today? <laughs> Bristol High School, are you present? <laughs> Broad Street School, are you in the house today? <laughs> Cherry Street. <laughs> Excel. <laughs> Indian Avenue. Quarter Mile Lane School and West Avenue School. I certainly can hear that you're all present today. So the first person I'm going to recognize is from Bridgeton High School. And that person is Mr. David Allen. From Broad Street School, Miss Maureen McLeod. From Buckshooter Road School, Mr. Devin Land. 
from Cherry Street School, Ms. Daniel Workman. From the Dr. Geraldine O. Foster Early Childhood Center, Ms. Stephanie Saul. From XL, Ms. Carla Berglund Gang. From Indian Avenue School, Ms. Rebecca Franklin. From Quarter Mile Lane School, Ms. Caroline Cornelius. And from West Avenue School, Ms. Amanda McClowski. Let's give all of our teachers of the year an applause. You may be seated. We also want to recognize the Governor's Educational Services Professionals of the Year. From Bristol High School, Ms. Christina Akers. You could do better than that, Bristol High School. Ms. Christina Akers. I hear you, Sarge. Broad Street School, Ms. Joyce Mary Smith. From Buckshooter Road School, Ms. Cherie Logan. From Cherry Street School, Ms. Erica Caban. From the Dr. Geraldine O. Foster Early Childhood Center, Mr. Samuel Friedman. Indian Avenue School, Mr. Nathan Reed. Quarter Mile Lane School, Mr. Nathan Thomas. And from West Avenue School, Ms. Mayini Perez. Congratulations to all of our Governor's Educational Services Professionals of the Year. At this time, I'm going to call to the podium the esteemed board president of the Bridgeton Board of Education, Ms. Ashley Todd. Hello, champions. It is such an honor to stand among you champions. Give yourselves a round of applause. So you know, as champions, because I'm a champion too, we dream big. So today I woke up and I said, I wanna be a rapper. I wanna be like Little Nas X. So I wrote a song, but I realized that I need a hype man. Y'all willing to be my hype man? And I'm gonna ask our teachers to help me out. Can y'all please go stand in front of your school? Board members, you can pick one too. Come on, this is a party. We're celebrating champions today, it's a party. So I'm gonna need y'all to follow instructions, okay? I'm gonna need y'all to follow instructions because I'm gonna do my rap. I just need y'all to sing the hook, all right? So when I do my line, I just need you to say, I am a champion. Can you do that? Let's practice. I am a But I need y'all to put some funk on it. I need y'all to own this because you are a champion. Let's try it one more time. I am a champion. Are y'all ready? All right, through my ups and downs. Through my triumphs and failures. Whether I win or lose. Through my highs and my lows. Through my 
triumph and defeat. Say it one more time. Bridgeton, you will forever and always be champions. Y'all are amazing. Thank y'all. High School and has given back and been a champion for our community. This year's honoree is Miss Carol Seabrook Green. So let me tell you a little bit about Miss Green before she comes up. Uh, she's a graduate of Bridgeton High School and she has served her career working in different agencies throughout our county. She is here to support our students and parents for whatever they need. I'm not going to list all her jobs that she's had, and they've been many. But what stands out the most, I've known Miss Green for many years, and she has always been here for the students. And that's why the committee selected her this year as the honoree for the Parade of Champions. Let me tell you why she's a champion. I have a couple reasons. In 2006, Ms. Green founded Principles to Stand On, a nonprofit organization focused on developing community-based programs for our youth, such as gang prevention programs and after-school programs. Ms. Green has served on many committees to serve our town. Uh, the most important part of giving back for Ms. Green is sponsoring two scholarships to graduating Bridgeton High School female students who are accepted into a college um, in memorial of students that lost their lives while attending Bridgeton High School. And lastly, Miss Green became a foster parent resource where she serves as a mentor and mother to children who reside in her home. She is passionately known as Mama Green, or Mama Carol, I'm sorry. <laughs> there are two moments in which Carol, Miss Green describes since becoming a parent, res a resource parent. The first moment is when the first young man graduated from high school as the first child in his biological family to receive a high school diploma. The other was an acceptance and entrance of another young man into Rowan University. Being a resource parent has led Miss Green to become the full-time caregiver of Leland, a student for Bridgeton Public School, who was named Bulldog of the Month in April 2018. Miss Green is known to do whatever someone requests of her to help wherever she is in need to better someone's life or our community. Please join me in giving our 2019 Parade of Champions honoree, Miss Carol Green, a round of applause. Before we continue with this party, there's a couple of things that I need to do as the honoree of today. The first thing I need to do is thank God for being here. The other thing I need to do is to thank him for allowing me to climb up that hill. Also, I like to take the time out to thank my good friend, and that's my friend, Dr. Thomasina 
Jones. She's the superintendent, you guys know her, and she has the students at heart. And I would like to continue to be in her life as she moves and grow and grow. The other person I'd like to thank is my good friend Ashley Todd, who is the president of the Bristol School Board. Thank you, Ms. Todd. Ms. Todd is one of those folks that remind me of you, okay? When you need me, I come. But we're not here to do all that, and I got a couple other friends and other school board members that are here, Ms. Erica and Mr. Williams, who is actually my classmate. And then I also have some teachers out here that I worked with in the Bristol school system. And I like to say hi to you and God bless you. Now, we're going to get this party started again. It, it was, we started early, but we have to finish it the right way. And we're going to start out finishing it like this. Your first lesson is learning to follow directions. So, when I say we can, you say, when I say yes we can, you say we can. Okay? We ready? You ready? You ready? All right, let me, let, let me get my stuff together because you know how these iPhones work. They leave you, then they come back, they freeze up, then you have to unfreeze them. Okay, now here's the lesson again. When I say we can do it, you say yes we can. You ready? We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I'm going to do a microphone check right about now. I'm going down here to my old school. I went to West Avenue School when I was in the third and in the fourth grade. All right, you ready, West Avenue? We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. All right, now I'm going down here to check and see if Indian Avenue is in the house. All right, you in the house? Okay, Indian Avenue, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. All right, now I gotta go down here. I'm down here with Excel, small in numbers, but big and mighty. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Now I'm going down here to Buck shoot him. You know, that used to be the school that Dr. Jones used to be the principal. Isn't that right? Okay, Buck shoot him. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, who we have here? We have Carver? Who we have right here in the blue? West Avenue. Oh, okay. But we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, Carver, you ready? We can do it. Carver, we can do it. We can do it. All right, Carver. I, uh, okay. All right, now where are we? Cherry Street. All right, now I went to Cherry Street when I was in the fifth and the sixth grade. You know, Cherry Street left me with some experiences. And so, you ready? We can do it. Yes, we can. We can do it. 
We can do it. Yes, we can. All right, all right. All right, high school. Hey, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, high school. We can do it. Yes, we can. We can do it. Yes, we can. We can do it. Yes, we can. Okay, that huh? Broad Street. Now, here we go. Where's Carver? Hey, Carver! We can do it! All right. All right, now, Broad Street. You know, I got a special love for Broad Street because when I worked with the district, I was at Broad Street School. So I have a special love for Broad Street. We can do it! We can do it! We can do it. Yes, we can. All right, now that's what I'm saying. All right. Quarter my lane. You ready? You got you picking up the tail end. Now you got to make it count. We can do it. Yes, we, can. we can do it. Yes, we, can. we can do it. Now everybody, we can do it. Yes, we, can. we can do it. Yes, we, can. we can do it. Yes, we can. Okay. You know, I learned a new word when I was on the college tour, and that new word was lit. Y'all know that word? Y'all know that word? Yeah, I remember that I learned that new word when I was on the college tour. And I'm like, what does that mean? Lit. I'm lit. Well, you know, I start thinking about being lit. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right. Now, you know, I'm lit. I'm lit today because I am out here as a member of the class of 1976 of Bristol High School. I have a couple classmates out here that's actually working. I have some classmates that are on the school board. And I'm, you know, in the class of 1976 was the class of the bicentennial. And we were bad, okay? I'm lit because I used to sit right in that stadium watching the football games, watching the track meets, out here on the field during graduation. Now, I'm also lit because I walk the halls of all the schools that are here. The only one I really didn't get a chance, well, Carver wasn't around, XL wasn't around, but I walk the halls of the schools that you are walking in every day. So I'm lit. I'm lit because we got Cherry Street, we got the rest of them, but I'm not gonna name them because it's getting a little hot out here and I know my colleagues are like, okay, Carol, I got it. Okay. I'm lit because I had the opportunity to be here and you know with this opportunity, I'm here to tell you, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. And you know you can do it. You can cut. I've seen it happen. You can come together and make things happen for yourself. You can come together and make things happen for your family, and you can come together to make things happen for your community. And the one thing I always remember is when the time that the two young ladies lost their life in such a tragic accident. And at that time, I saw the students of Bristol High School come together and to memorialize and to remember those young ladies. So I know you can do it. I know that you beca can become the next kings, 
the next queens. I know you can become the next doctors. I know you can become the next lawyer. I know you can become the next teacher and counselor, plumber and electrician, husband and wife, mother and father. I know you can do it. I know you can make a difference in the lives of your little brothers and sisters. You have some little brothers and sisters that are watching you, high school students. You can make a difference. I know that you can turn all your wrongs into rights. Something go wrong, you work at it and you turn it into a right. I know you can pick up your brothers and your sisters when they are down and can't and having a hard time getting up. I know you can do it. Now, how are we going to do it? But there's some things you have to do in order to do what is right and to be what you want to be. First of all, first of all, you must work hard. You have to go to school and work hard, and you have to go to school days that you don't want to go to school. Because we go to, teachers and myself, we go to work days that we don't want to go, but we work hard and we're doing what we wanted to do. You, there, ha, you, there can't be no half-stepping. You got to work hard. You can't just say, I'm not going to do it because I'm not feeling well. You have to continue on. You have to stay focused, keep your eyes on the prize, know your purpose, dream big, and follow your dreams. You have to believe in yourself, use your resources. If you know somebody that has something that you need, go to them. I don't have a problem picking up the phone, calling Dr. Jones, because that's my friend. Dr. Jones, I need. And when you can go to someone and say that you need and they give, that means you have invested in them. Also, you have to know who is on your team. Know who's on your team. Network with other people. Follow the big ballers that are doing good things. And remember, Help one another, support a meaningful cause, know who your friends are, and treat each other like you want to be treated. These are things you do when you're trying to be who you want to be, and these are the things you have to work towards. In the end, you know, every day, you know, we get up with a song in our heart. And when we get up with a song in our heart, you know, some of us got up today with the song, Thank you, Lord. And you, and you carried that song, and you took that song to work. Some of you got up with the song, uh, whatever they sing, and you sang that song every day. This time, I'm going to give you a song for you to take back to school today and use tomorrow and use it for the next year to come. I'm gonna give you that song and I want you to sing that song with me. If you know it, sing it. If you wanna dance, dance to it. Okay, are we ready? All right. You ready? I, we can do it. We can do it. Okay, that song is getting ready to come. And I want you to remember this song. Here's my work.